uh, we have studied properties of charge which are at rest electric field electric potential potential due to a point charge dipole everything we have studied potential energy all things we have studied in the in that chapter we discussed the charges at rest but here we are studying the motion of charges charges are in motion so here we uh, we, we can see uh, in this figure the these are heavy positively charged ions they are not in motion but the electrons they are freely moving inside the conductor free electrons are available and, and they are in random motion they are not at all moving in a particular direction electrons move in a particular direction not like that they are in random motion you can see the random motion okay? there is no preferential direction for the velocities of the electrons on average the number of electrons traveling in any particular direction will be equal to the number of electrons traveling in the opposite direction. Therefore, there is no net electric current. Here, as they are in random motion, there is no net electric current. For electric current, charges fl should flow in a particular direction net flow should be there net flow here pos electrons are moving here positive ions are moving the others opposite direction they are moving but no there is no net net current so net uh, charges uh, should move in a particular direction that is not happening here in a conductor even though free electrons are there the net motion of charge is zero net current is zero they are in random motion but net flow is not there that is the important word there net flow of charge is not there random motion they move the towards left towards right in different direction up to down they are moving in different direction but net flow of charge is not there therefore no net electric current charge rate of flow of charge is current that you have studied rate of flow of charge. What is the equation for current? Children? Equation for current I yeah, equal to ah, I equal to Q by T. Q by T. I equal to Q by T. Mm -hmm. That is the Q is the net charge. T, T is the time taken by the charge to flow. So Q by T. I equal to Q by T. That is the current. We have studied those things. So see here that charge here the net charge actually we have to consider charge are there but the net charge flow in particular direction is not there we cannot tell there are no charges here conductor there are charges but there is no net flow of charges they are not at all moving in a particular direction so current yes. is zero yes can you admit Adil? Seven participants are waiting, my dear. All are outside. Okay. Okay. Supply an electric field to the metal and see what happens to the motion of these electrons. To observe see, the motion of electrons. So earlier they showed uh, the figure with no electric field. And we have seen the charges are moving in a random manner but when we apply an electric field what happens you can see electric field means one side we give a positive for example positive of the battery is connected other end you connect negative of the battery this is a conductor example for conductor children example for conductor tell example for conductor conductive huh. Copper, metals. Ah, metals, all metals are good conductors of electricity. So, a conductor, this is a piece of a conductor and it is having free electrons. When no electric field, they are in random motion, there is no net electric current. But when we apply an electric field, one end of the conductor is connected to positive of the battery and other end is connected to negative of the battery, we can say we applied an electric field across the conductor. Whenever there is an electric field, you, can you tell electrons will move it to which direction? Electrons move in which direction, Adi Lakshmi? 
electrons move in which direction when we apply an electric field towards the positive side or negative side adi lakshmi no answer there we go towards which direction electrons move there we go yes ma'am electrons move in which direction positive side or negative side positive ah electrons will move towards the positive of the uh, positive end of the conductor so there will be a net flow of charge you can see that see? very clearly let us use a conductor in the shape of a cylinder of radius r we take two thin circular discs made of a dielectric material of the same radius r as that of the cylinder there are q number of positive charges distributed across one of the discs and q number of negative charges distributed across the other disc these two discs are attached to the two flat surfaces of the cylinder one end is positive an other end is negative which is directed from the positively charged disc to the negatively charged disc direct see here this end is made positive this end is made negative what is the direction of electric field gaudam what is the direction of electric field gaudam gaudam what is the direction of electric field jnana prakash tal positive to negative ah direction of electric field is from positive to negative what is the direction of motion of electron nana motion of electron motion of electron towards nana not a mistake neeraj excuse me ma'am ah uh, gaudam tell what is the direction of motion of electrons is it in the direction of electric field or opposite can you hear me now electric field is direction positive to negative left end is made positive right end is made negative okay left end positive right end negative clear gaudam gaudam anu iraj aan aaraan speaking who is speaking gaudam and no answer this problem my problem i think nivedida tell electrons will move in which direction nivedida ah uh, ah which direction electron move negative side ah to the negative side is it in the direction of electric field or opposite to the direction of electric field teacher yes electron movement is it in the direction of electric field or opposite direction of electric field well no sir krishna priya electron movement in which direction in the direction of electric field or opposite direction of electric field teacher opposite direction of electric field krishna prabha ah okay opposite the direction of electric field correct answer so electrons are moving opposite the direction of electric field electric field direction is positive to negative this is positive this is negative electrons move opposite the direction of electric field clear children electron move opposite the direction of electric field okay atoms are accelerated and move towards the positive charge on reaching the positive charge they neutralize the charges on the disc the unidirectional motion of these electrons constitutes an electric current so electron begin to flow in particular direction and that produce current electron flow takes place towards left you can see in this case particular case they are moving all electrons are moving in a particular direction that constitute an electric current but here as it is closed with this that will neutralize but if you connect a battery we can get a continuous flow of steady current that you can see steady current okay 
when the battery is connected, what happens? We can see only for a very short time. That is, till the charges are neutralized. We can attach the two ends of a battery or a cell to the two discs to maintain a steady electric field and thereby obtain a steady current. See, now this conductor is connected to a battery. Conductor is connected with a wire. Which wire we usually use to connect children? Which copper wire we use? Copper. Ah, copper wire. We use a copper wire. Why copper wire is used? Copper is a? Copper, good conductor. Ah, good conductor. Ah, good conductor of electricity. So, we use copper wire to connect this. Uh, conduct. This is the conductor which is having free electrons in it. We connect it with a battery. Battery is having positive and a negative end. One end is connected to positive. So, conductor, this end becomes positive and this end becomes negative. So, electrons will begin to move from left to right or right to left. Electrons movement. Tell. Electron movement. Here, right, left end is positive. Right end is negative. Electron will move. In this conductor, electron move which direction, children? Uh, we, to some, right. Ah, that means left to right because this is right. Uh, this here it is positive. All the electrons will reach to this side, left towards left. Electron move towards the light, left. But you know, arrow mark is shown towards the right. Why, children? Arrow mark shows the current flow. Electron flow towards left, but current flow towards right. That is the conventional di conventional direction of current. Opposite to the motion of electron is the direction of current marked. We mark the direction of current opposite to the motion of electron. We know electrons are moving towards left but current flow is marked towards right. That is the conventional direction of marking the current, current direction. Current direction is opposite to the direction of electron flow. Clear children? These are important points. Current flow is opposite to the direction of Opposite direction of ah, electron, electron flow. Very important point. And uh, uh, electric field is positive negative, but electron flow is opposed to the direction of electric field. These are very, very important basic points. Okay. We can see when current flows, what happens? See, electrons are moving. And towards left, electrons are moving. Ohm's law states that V is proportional. Uh -huh. Before Ohm's law, we have to... Uh, Ohm's law you studied in 10th standard? Teacher. Ah, yes. V is proportional to I. What is the meaning? Potential difference? Ah. Is directly proportional to current. current. Ah. When we increase the voltage, for example, instead of one battery, if we one battery, what is the voltage in dry cell that we use in torches and all? What is the voltage of one battery, children? Huh? Sure. Don't know? Battery of battery voltage. Nine volt. Nine volt. One battery. Of one single cell that we use in our torches and all. Huh? Anyone? Your observation is very poor, children. Huh? 1.5 Ah, 1.5, very good. 1.5 volt tunnel. Two, uh, two uh, cells are connected in series, it will be 3 volt. Like that. Huh? Series connection, voltage increases. Battery, positive, negative, positive, negative, like that we put in uh, torches and all. Le, isn't it, children? Remote also we use battery. Clock also we use battery. So, uh, cell, usually cell voltage is 1.5 volt, okay. So, according, uh, when we instead of uh, uh, 1.5 volt, if we use two cells in series, we get 3 volt. Then when voltage increases, the current flowing through that also increases, more current flows. So, V is proportional to I or I. Uh. Where V is the potential difference across the conductor and I is the current flowing through the conductor. 
Let this be equation 1. To replace the proportionality sign by equality, we introduce a constant and write equation 1 as V is equal to Ri, where R is the constant of proportionality and is called the electrical resistance of the conductor. Okay, I think you have studied this, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. 10th standard. Uh, yes, ma but, but one condition you have to uh, keep here. That means temperature should be kept constant. If temperature varies, resistance also varies. In the case of conductor or insulator, resistance will vary. We cannot tell that is a constant. So, uh, always you have to tell that condition. When temperature is kept constant, V is proportional to I. The potential difference across the conductor, you have to use these words. The potential difference we are applying across the conductor. We are applying a battery here. We put a battery here and connect with a, uh, the connect this con that connecting wires. Copper wires are used to connect that uh, conductor. For example, this will be a conductor. A, and it is, uh, uh, we apply a potential difference across the conductor. V is the potential difference applied across the conductor. Then what happens? Current will begin to flow. When a battery is connected, current begins to flow. Electrons will flow. Uh, that means uh, towards the positive of the battery, electrons will begin to flow. Then there is a di unidirectional flow of charges that will constitute current, then I equal to, uh, we can see that how much current is produced, that depends upon the battery voltage. When we increase the voltage of the battery, the current is found to be increasing. So, V is proportional to I or V is equal to I into R. Proportional design is changed into equal to sign multiplying by a constant R, where R is the resistance of this conductor. And resistance depends on what factors? I am checking your memory. Material. Ah, material. Then? Length. Then? then? Area. Area. Length. Ah, ah, length. Uh, length uh, it, is it increasing with length? Resistance? Yes. Yeah. Ah, ah, it is length. Ah. Length. 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 Ah, you have doubt in that. When we increase the length, that means you are telling different answers. When length increases, it has to move. See, they, here they have so explained it. Yes. Let this be equation 2. The SI unit of resistance is O. The resistance R of a conductor depends on the composition of the conducting material and the dimensions of the conductor. To understand how the dimensions of a conductor affect its resistance, let us conduct two simple activities. Let's take two identical conductors of length L and cross-sectional area A. Place them side by side such that their ends touch each other, so that the length of the combination is 2L. The current I flowing through this combination is the same as that flowing through the individual conductors. The potential difference V across the ends of each conductor should be the same as they are identical and the same current I is flowing through them. The potential difference across the ends of the combination of the two conductors is 2V. The resistance of each conductor is expressed as R is equal to V by I. The resistance of the combination of conductors is represented by RC. RC can be calculated by applying the above formula for the combination. Substituting V by I is equal to R in the above equation. We get RC is equal to 2R. From this activity, we can conclude that resistance R is directly proportional to the length L of the conductor. Yes, this is the uh, activity for that. You see, first uh, they have uh, used one piece of that method 
and V is the voltage applied and we got the resistance R. L is the length, the same material. Same material, L is the length, V is the potential difference applied. And when we connect them in series, the two resistors are connected in series, the length increased, length doubled. And in order to get the same current I, we should apply voltage for two, for example, two batteries are to be kept to get the same current. One conductor is there, one battery is enough to get the current I. When two conductors, similar conductors, same material conductor, same length, same area cross section are used, they are connected uh, end to end in series, their length is double. So, two volt, which we, two volt potential we have to apply, then only we get the same current. So, we can find the resistance now. Now, voltage applied is 2 volt to have the same current I. So, you can use the formula R equal to V by I. Now, the voltage applied is 2 V and the current produced is I itself. So, 2 into V by I. V by I we know it is R. So, what happened? Resistance, see resistance is doubled now. 2 into R. When they are connected in series, when the length same material, that means it doubled the length, what happened? Resistance doubled. Resistance is directly proportional to length. See children, uh, one more thing, it, uh, that current has to flow, see this much length as the length increases. This much length, that, that means here when the electrons flow, what happens? There will be opposition to its motion. The, they will collide with the um, ions and also with the body of the conductor also and what happens its velocity is decreasing so uh, in effect when length increases it has to long, move a longer path and uh, in between that more collisions take place so obstacles are there in its path so when length increases it's, uh, it becomes difficult for the electrons to move and so that resistance is increasing the resistance is mainly due to this collision collision is taking place. So, more the length, more will be the collision taking place between the ions of the conductor and also with the other electrons of the conductor, collision is taking place. So, when more the length, what happens children? Resistance? Resistance? Uh, increases. Increase, uh, resistance increases with the length. Double the length. See, and not only increasing, doubling. Length double, resistance double. Very important result. So, do not be mistaken with uh, this fact. Always when length increases, resistance is also increasing, not only increasing, double, double the length, double the resistance. That is a very important result. But when area cross section is increased, uh, it uh, reverse is happening. When we increase the area cross section, what happens? Resistance, resistance. Ah, decreases, decreases. Okay. So, you can see another activity for that. Let this be equation 1. Coming to activity 2. Let us divide the conductor into 2 by cutting it lengthwise so that it can be considered as a combination of two identical conductors of length n. But each having a cross-sectional area of A by 2. The potential difference applied across the two conductors is V. If I is the current through the combination of the conductors, then the current flowing through each conductor is I by 2. Then the resistance of each conductor is obtained as equal to 2R. See, here when Here you can see uh, two same conductor is divided into two parts. Lengthwise it is divided. That means area cross section is half. Area of cross section. This is the area cross section. Area cross section is half. Then what happened to resistance? We can see so when potential difference applying. How can you apply potential difference? What we have to connect, children? For a battery. Ah, battery. We have to apply battery here. That is not shown here. Just they tell V. V they tell. We apply a potential difference. 
a battery is connected here and uh, i is the current main current i is flowing so but when it reaches here the, that current is divided same material same resistance understand children both are equal length equal area cross section same material so let us take their resistances are uh, uh, same resistance they are having and you know what happens when current reaches here that current will be divided equally because their resistance is same if the resistance is more resistant less current will flow here resistances are same so what will happen current is divided equally i becomes e i by 2 i by 2 current flows through this and i by 2 current flows through this area cross section is a by 2 but when you when you when it reaches here the same current i and i by 2 plus i by 2 same current i will flow through this part i reaches here divided equally i by 2 i by 2 flow through the through these conductors of equal length because they are having the same resistance so same current will flow that means i by 2 divided the current is divided equally because they are having same resistance and then when it flow out you can see the same current reach outside okay whatever current comes enter that current is leaving through that because it is a conductor understand so we can calculate the resistance of each conductor each conductor they have calculated v by i i becomes i by 2 now so what happens from this activity 2 v by i it becomes 2 into v by i so resistance is doubled area cross section is halved resistance is doubled area cross section is halved area cross section korachu appo resistance resistance area cross section uh, area cross section halved resistance doubled kanda doubled appa uh, which is better for easy flow of current increasing or decreasing area cross section decreasing ah decreasing decreasing when area cross section is eh, which is better for the better flow of current which is easy area cross section increasing or decreasing ah increasing increasing correct area cross section you increase the area cross section thick wire instead of thin wire use a thick wire then current will flow easily it is an easy path for current when you increase the area cross section it becomes easy for the current flow that means resistance is reduced children so uh, area cross section is halved resistance is doubled so which is better to, for, for the easy flow of current area cross section double double okay. uh, or increase area cross section increase okay so length increasing the length resistance increase ah uh, increases increasing the area cross section resistance Decreases. 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 Very good. That is the very important uh, uh, fact. We can conclude hmm. that having the area of cross section of a conductor doubles its resistance. Generalizing, we can write resistance R of a conductor is inversely proportional to its cross sectional area A. Let this be equation 2. Combining equations 1 and 2, we can write resistance R is proportional to L by A. Let this be equation 3. Replacing the proportionality sign with equality, we can write equation 3 as R is equal to rho into L by A. Let this be equation 4. Where rho is the constant of proportionality, which depends on the material of the conductor and is called resistivity. Substituting equation 4 in Ohm's law. Okay, I will explain these equations. So, first experiment we have seen resistance is directly proportional to L when resistance is doubled, length, uh, sorry, when length is doubled, resistance doubles. So, we can write R is directly proportional to L and we know we have seen when area cross section is uh, increased resistance decreases 
they are inversely proportional r is inversely proportional to area cross section so r is proportional to l by a together together we can write r is proportional to l by a and uh, okay. when we use the equality symbol r is equal to rho we have to always multiply with a constant when equal to uh, proportionality sign is changed to equal to sign we multiply with a constant and here it is rho r h o rho rho into l by a where rho is known as resistivity of the conductor that depends upon the material resistivity depends upon the material of the conductor understand so uh, we can we have seen resistance formula r equal to rho l by a very very important formula children from this you can tell resistance depends upon nature of the material it is directly proportional to length of the conductor inversely proportional to area of the cross section okay v is equal to i into rho into l by a let this be equation 5. Current per unit area is called current density, J. Current density, J, is expressed as I by A, where L A is normal to the direction of the current I passing through the conductor. Let this be equation 6. The SI unit of current density, J, is ampere per meter square. When E is the magnitude of the uniform... Okay, uh, here children, so we got the relation R equal to rho L by A and V is proportional to I. So, V is equal to I into R. R we substitute here, this equation we substitute. I into rho L by A. We got one more relation. V is equal to I into rho L by A. And I by A is also known as current density. Current density. Another term that you have to study here. Current density. Current per unit area. That is known as current density. And its unit will be I ampere. Area meter square. Ampere Teacher. per. Yes. Meter square. Current density is uh, symbol on no? J. J. Uh, current density is uh, J. J equal to I by A and what is its unit? Ampere per? Ampere per? Ampere per? Meter square. Meter square. Okay. Okay. So, we have studied Ohm's law. In the conductor of okay. length L. Huh. What is current density? Current density, current per unit. See, area is marked here. Current per unit area current density current per unit area area cross section okay oh. so i will show the notes page also Um, okay. The, the bottom points that you have to study. What is electric current? Rate of flow of charge through any cross section of the substance. That is electric current I equal to Q by T. And Q equal to N into E. That also we have studied. Where Q is the char total charge flowing. And T is the time taken for that charge. N is the number of free electrons crossing through the section of conductor in a time t second. So, one relation we studied I equal to Q by T and Q equal to N E. Okay. If, if the current through the conductor is not steady, in a, we know in the when we use a battery, we get a steady current. But some uh, AC and all now, it is not steady. AC current is not at all steady. It is varying. Current varies. So, we cannot use that formula I equal to Q by T. Steady current only we can use this formula. Otherwise, varying current we have to use the formula dQ by dt. dQ is the small amount of current flowing through a time in a time dt. I equal to dQ by dt. Varying cases 
the current is uh, formed by this formula dq by dt then si unit of electric current everybody knows ampere 1 ampere is 1 coulomb by 1 second one how you got you give the unit 1 coulomb and here si unit so 1 second 1 coulomb by 1 second that is 1 ampere current okay if 1 coulomb of charge flow for 1 second through any section of the conductor then current in that conductor is 1 ampere that is the definition of 1 ampere current by convention the direction of motion of positive charge is taken as direction of electric field this we have studied last chapter direction of positive motion of unit positive charge that will give the direction of direction of electric field that we have studied so direction of motion of positive charge is taken as the direction of electric current clear direction of motion of positive charge is taken as direction of electric current not the electrons motion it is opposite to the motion of electrons in case of metallic conductors the current is due to the flow of free electron hence direction of conventional current is taken opposite to the flow of electron very important point direction of motion of current is opposite to the direction of electron flow clear children this point direction of flow of electron oh, no. in we know in a conductor electrons are moving in a particular direction when we apply potential difference is it is it when we apply potential difference electron flow is towards the positive of the battery yes, yes. Ah, electron is flowing towards the positive of the battery but we know current flow is opposite to the opposite to the motion of electron that is taken conventionally it is taken current direction is motion of positive charge so will it be in the direction of electron flow no teacher ah, current flow is opposite to the motion of electron that means positive charge motion is taken as current direction positive charge motion is direction current direction but electron flow is opposite to that clear yes teacher 